Hey girls, it's Chloe. Welcome back to Camarello. Today I did a look inspired from the 2011 Victoria's Secret show. That's just a winged or a, a bit of liquid liner. Um, I know for a fact that they didn't use any eyeshadow. Well, they say they didn't. Um, but I decided to add it and I think it gives it a bit of dimension and sort of ethereal Greek goddess kind of style and I paired it with this curled bouffant hair. So uh, keep watching if you want to see how I did it and I hope you enjoy. First is a base and I'm using the Bobbi Brown cement with my Precision Angled Sigma brush. First colour I'm taking is Rosy Outlooks from MAC and it's a pale pink I think it's a satin finish. It's called Rosy Outlooks and I'm using this big fluffy brush from Bloom and I'm running that sort of uh, through my crease and onto the lid. Next I'm using my Urban Decay Naked palette and the colour Sidecar which is this one. This is a Sigma blending brush, the small tapered blending brush. And now I'm going to run this through my crease and blending it up slightly and to do that I'm just using circular motions next I'm taking this color called chocolate and it's by micro shadow and it's pretty much very similar to sidecar I think but just without the glitter it's sort of a similar shade and not that brush I'm using this one from Sigma as well this is the pencil E30 brush and I'm putting that in there and then I'm going to draw this into my crease and I'm going to layer this up until it um, until it defines the crease really well so I have to use a fair bit next I'm going to take the rosy outlook again rosy out yeah rosy outlook and this brush, which is just like an angled shader brush, and I'm going to get more of that. And I'm going to put it on my lid, sort of just in this lower half of my lid, and under my brow bone. I'm then going to take that fluffy blending brush and just use that to get rid of the harsh lines. Using that brush again, I'm going to take this color called bouquet by MAC and that's similar to this one but it's more of a light purple with lots of shimmer in I'm it. I'm going to put this into my tear duct. Take a little bit more of sidecar on the pencil brush and run it under the eye and then join it up on the edge to the crease. Now I'm going to do the eyeliner with Fluid Line Black Track from MAC and this Jazz Art um, art brush. So I have something like this. Now apply a few coats of mascara to your top and bottom lashes. I'm using the Hypnose Drama. I believe that in the show the girls didn't wear false eyelashes, but I think that us mere mortals, we need to boost. <laughs> we need that boost. So I'm going to go apply some Ardell Wispies. So I applied those Ardell Wispies. Um, you might notice that there's some glitter down there. You could wait to apply foundation now. I actually applied mine before. Next I'm just going to use some Benefit um, Erase Paste under my eye. So after I applied my foundation I bronzed my face all over with Laguna Bronzer just because um, I fake tanned and I needed it to match. Next I'm using a peach blush, this is the Dream Mousse by Maybelline and I'm using a stippling brush, this is by MAC, it's the 131 and I'm just going to dab it in and get a little bit on the brush and, oh wrong side, I'm going to 
put that on my the apples of my cheeks and actually like a little bit lower than that. That's what I saw the girls had. Um, it was sort of a little bit lower down than what I usually do. So, And this is just to act as a base for another peach blush that I'm putting on top now. And the blush that I'm using is this one by MAC. It's called Spring Sheen. And I'm using a blush brush. Just not too much of this because it's a little bit shimmery and I'm going to apply that over the top, but it's highly pigmented, so you really don't need very much anyway, especially since you have that peach base on. You definitely need a highlighter for this look. Um, I'm going to be using the Soft and Gentle from MAC, and this MAC Travel Brush, the 129 SE, just couldn't think of what else I would use for this. So I'm going to put a little bit on there, and I'm dusting it over my temple, sorry, my top of my cheekbone and like through my temple area. What I'm also going to do is put a little bit on my finger and I'm going to put that on top of my lip because that's going to make my lips look bigger and down the center of my nose. Now for my lips, oh this needs to be sharpened but I'll work with it. I'm using the Lancome Le Contour in Beige Rosé, the lip liner. On the other side of that lip liner there's a little brush and I'm going to use that to apply Myth by MAC. I definitely want, don't want to leave it like that because that sort of blanks out your lips and I just did that because I want to make this colour really opaque. This is from Chi Chi and it's not named because it came in a set. Okay, I'm going to let down my hair and come back to you. Well girls, I hope that you really liked my tutorial. All I did was put some curl in my hair. If you'd like to see um, a tutorial for this, I think it's really pretty in Grecian, so maybe I'll put that on my list if enough of you want to see it. Um, but yeah, that's the end of my look. It was inspired by the Victoria's Secret uh, fashion show, the latest one, so 2011. Um, yeah, I hope you guys liked it, and please remember to go like my Facebook, which is linked below, and follow me on Twitter if you want to get to know me better. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.